by 2030, we need to install 80,000 megawatts of offshore wind per year. And what has turned out to be really cost effective in other places is actually wind turbine towers. Welcome's role in the Tetra project has been to manufacture uh, the foundation. Everything can be produced in a factory. In the Tetra concept, there is a clear direction on how we want to produce this. And this fits perfectly into a normal tower production, where 80 or maybe 90% of what we have seen in this concept here is things that we do uh, on a daily basis here at Velcom. We can go to deeper waters, which means that we can also look at locations with better wind resources. This will add to the current mix of various solutions available on the market today and will help the world in meeting its energy demand. And since floating wind is very much in its early days, technology development is really important. We as Shell believe that industrialization plays a very important role in bringing down the cost. My expectation is that we will go to mass production of floating offshore foundations using essentially the same thinking as we have done. And of course there will be other people doing with different details and so on. But I think that this idea of producing things in factories is the ultimate winning recipe. Tokyo Dendruk RP was in the 2030 we know that to drive down the cost of energy from floating wind turbines, we need to be able to produce multiple foundations quickly and cheaply. And through this project, we proved that we can fabricate the foundation in a wind turbine tower manufacturing facility. This should bring about real cost reductions when we scale up to commercial sized wind farms.